After you thaw these patients, you've rewarmed them, now what do you do? Well, number one is they often develop a tremendous amount of swelling, so I like to gently elevate these extremities. Uh, I like to put sterile fluffs and sterile dressings around their hand, usually in a position of function. A position of function is sort of like you're holding a tennis ball, or for some people, more like you're holding a beer can. But the point is, is that a little bit of extension at the wrist and a little bit of flexion with the fingers and just put a sterile dressing around their hand. Why sterile? You're really trying to prevent infection just like you would with a burn. In between the fingers, if you just tape the entire person's hand together, they can really develop maceration between their fingers. So you probably want to put sterile fluffs between their fingers and then put them into a universal dressing in a position of function. Most frostbite experts do not recommend prophylactic antibiotics. If they get infected, you can culture in the hospital and treat appropriately, or in the field you treat empirically, but wait until there's evidence of infection. You really want to just maintain normal wound care, which is typically, if you have the capability, daily dressing changes with clean or sterile equipment the best you can do. Something that a lot of frostbite experts recommend is to use some form of anti-prostaglandin therapy. Sounds fancy, but what that means is start these patients on relatively low doses of ibuprofen. Typically, 400 milligrams twice a day is the recommended dose. And the idea is, is that following frostbite, there is this specter of so-called progressive dermal ischemia. And what that means is that there are areas that haven't decided yet whether they're going to live or whether they're going to die. And there are all of these inflammatory mediators that are released following frostbite, things like thromboxane that can cause thrombosis. So part of our treatment in the field is directed towards reducing or inhibiting the formation of some of these inflammatory mediators. And it turns out that good old fashioned ibuprofen, 400 milligrams twice a day, can reduce some of these inflammatory mediators and preserve tissue. You know, earlier we said that drinking a lot of fluids can be really helpful in terms of preventing frostbite. Well, part of your therapy should be really hydrating these patients. In the hospital, they usually receive intravenous hydration, but even in the field, I would make sure that these patients are adequately hydrated with fluids, and that should be part of your treatment. Another thing that's important when you're dealing with patients in the field is to keep pressure off of these wounds. You know, if you've got somebody with frostbite and toes and they're in a sleeping bag, often the toes of the sleeping bag are going to crush their toes. So you can improvise some kind of a foot cradle, often using a backpack or something in the sleeping bag to keep the sleeping bag off of their toes.